Hey guys, it's me, Scratch How To. Yeah, and time to make that's right, an alarm clock on Scratch. And yeah, so uh, <clears throat> how did I get this idea? Well, my friend decided that you know maybe I should just because he needed he made something called the time and want to do that kind of alarms. So I'm going to do this that we can make alarms on our Scratch project. So. Hmm. Let's let's just start with adding alarms. You know, let's make a list called hour for all sprites, minute for all sprites, and then finally day for all sprites. Okay, we're not gonna do month. You could do month if you want to, but I'm not gonna do that. <clears throat> so when green flag clicked. <clears throat> do we want to delete all of day and night and uh, how about we just leave it like that? So let's just add a forever loop so that the green flag will stay clicked. Like that. Okay, so now let's add do it when C key press. Wait, no. Wait, yeah, when C key press. Or actually, let's do A key press for alarm. So then when I key A press, let's make a new block called create <coughs> alarm. Or if I screen fresh. This will be similar to the the calendar one I did more at we add holiday system so we're going to do day hour and minute as our inputs and then we click OK so now I want to create alarm <coughs> now let's just leave that there so we create alarm so basically we'll add thing today we'll add day to day We'll add hour to hour, and then we'll add minute to minute. <clears throat> so now whenever A key press, let's just set alarm to 10, 10, 10. Let's show these lists. So whenever I click A, yep, it adds that to the list. Okay, so now let's make a mayo reset. So let's make it when D key pressed, it deletes all of the lists. So like delete all of day, Delete all of hour and then delete all of minute. This will be useful just in case we need to delete some stuff. Okay. So now that we have these, uh, we want to do so that we can actually like act these for our alarms. So <laughs> let's do if <clears throat> not equal to, and then we'll put blank here. Let's duplicate this that three times. So if not day is equal to blank, hour is equal to blank, or minute is equal to blank. Then we'll add day to day, add hour to hour, add minute to minute. So if I set this to just create alarm, and then add zero, wait no blank here. Then I click A, look it only adds the day, but those add hour or minute. And then whenever I move that, it only adds hour, but not to day and minute. And then if I just do the minute side, we really add it to minute and not day or hour. So this is going to be really useful as we will be wanting to ask the user for inputs. So for example, ask which day do you want the alarm? <clears throat> then we're going to add answer to the first input because that's our day. So now if I click the flag, I press A. Which day do you want the alarm? Oh yeah, I should probably put numbers only, you know? Numbers only. Okay, that, <clears throat> let's set it to the 8th since today's December 8th. Okay, then it adds that to alarm. Next, we would want to ask, hmm, and then which hour do you want the alarm? Numbers only, add answer, and then which minute do you want to go on? Numbers only, and then we'll just do that. So now, clear blocks. So which day, the eighth? Ooh, whoops, I actually put E on, hold up. Okay, so the eighth, and then we want it at eight, and then 42, because uh, it's 841 right now, so. <clears throat> Let me move this over here. Here we go, and now as you can see, it has the alarm set there. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to do so that we can program the alarms. 
So first, obviously we want it so that there's an alarm beeping sound. So do we have any of that here? Let's put a alarm. No, no alarms. Let's <coughs> ring tone. Let's try ring tone. Okay, so guys, the ring tone has finally finished. Let me they have that ringtone on here once. It sounds like they just, they sound like they played it and then they just recorded it. I guess we can use this, so. If I collect forever, if. And then, <clears throat> that the day is equal to, wait. So let's add a current day here. Current date. In fact, let's actually make a new block called Check for Alarms. What if I'm screen refresh? We'll add this here. And let's make a new variable called I for this round. Let's delete the my variable here. So set I to 1. And then if I item I of day is equal to current date. Wait, no, we won't set I. We don't set I to 1 yet. We'll set it. See, basically, we're going to put the check for alarms here in the forever loop, but then we're going to put I, set I to one before it. Okay, so now that we have that, <clears throat> uh, I have no idea what just happened, but okay. Then <clears throat> we want it so that we check for the item I of hour to check for current hour, the item I of minute to check for current minute. There we go. And then we will place, we'll start sound rig tone until done. And then, yeah, I think that's good. Then we just change I by one. So then we want, actually want to do this. So we repeat until I is greater than <clears throat> the length of day. So that way, once we're done cycling through all the items, then it'll go back to this. So now, let me set a new alarm. So the eighth, the hour is eight, and then 47. Then we just wait until it's 840. Oh, it's actually right now. Huh. That's very late today. For some reason it's not doing it. Huh. I don't I have daisy current date. Oh, it's because we a current hour. Oh, we have to put a module. It's module 12. <coughs> that still doesn't work. Oh, that's because it's 848 now. 8. 48. Wait. Oh yeah, 8 and then 48. Oh, okay, so that's just playing. So now we want just that whenever we press this. Thing. Okay, that's actually annoying. Uh, I'm gonna reduce the volume. So we'll repeat until key space is pressed. Okay, and then when I press the space key. Oh yeah, because oh, then it sets it to oh, okay. Let's make the new variable called alarm on. Set alarm on to one, and then we set alarm on to zero point five, and we'll set alarm on to zero at the, when the green flag is clicked. So then here, if in the side the repeat until space key press. If alarm on is equal to one, I mean zero, sorry, then we'll play the song. I mean the ringtone. <laughs> so now let's make a new green flag clicked. One green flag clicked. So, and then forever. Oh yeah, we have to set alarm on to 0 0.5 at, at the end of the repeat until key space pressed. So then, when grief likely to forever, if alarm on is equal to 0 0.5, then we wait until 
Uh, hmm. We also want to make another thing. Oh, let me make, put this for uh, this part only. And we want to put last minute for this part only. We're going to set last minute to the last minute it was. So then wait until uh, the current minute is greater than. Wait, but what if it's 59 and then it's. No, so that, that won't work. Uh, hmm. Wait until current minute is. And let's just do wait until current minute is greater than last minute. I think that'll work. Okay, so now let's save now. So I'm add a more 8. And then we go put 8 and then 50. Uh, oh my god, it's lagging so bad. Okay. Let's see why. Let's see Balarma. Alarma is 1. Oh wait, we have to do it after this. What am I doing? We have to do it after we play the sound. I mean, after here, sir. Wait. <laughs> okay, so change of plans. We're actually going to do this this way. We have to put the if inside of onto the PvP until. There we go. At least set to 0 0.5 here. So I'm pretty sure. 8, 8, 51. Now continue playing until the space. space it's still one. Oh, there you go you have to hold it okay and then from one to 0 0.5 it'll wait until it's 852 it's current than last minute true oh yeah we have to set we have to set alarm on to zero right so there we go that's how to make a lot of local scratch Lots of code, but I mean, it's better than what most people can do, right? So now I'll go put, let's make it be what, 8, 8, 52. And then 8, 8, 53. So then, now once it's 8, 53, the thing should start playing. So I'll just tell you guys once it's 8, 53. Okay guys, five seconds until the thing. We should have did it by now. I don't know why. Uh, at least because I was holding space. Wait. <clears throat> it's current minute greater than last minute. What's last minute? It's 53. Oh. Oh, okay. So I think, yeah, I think I pressed space key. So I just add alarm. Eight. 8.54 and I'll tell you guys about that alright guys so we need to put a set last minute to current minute in the if okay make sure because you gotta put it in the if that's really really important because that's the thing I've been missing right now it's 8.54 so we're just gonna have to wait till 8.55 I'll tell you guys about that 5 4 3 2 1 And that is how you make an alarm on Scratch. Wow, uh, that actually felt really good. So this is what your code should look like. First, you got to check for alarms. Check for alarms looks like this. Okay, that's annoying. Check for alarms looks like this. Oh wait, I could just press the space key. Okay, then you got set alarm is equal to zero. And then we got this part. We got the create alarm. The D key press, which deletes everything. The A key press, which creates the alarm. And then finally, this green flag click, which checks for alarms. <coughs> so most important script is obviously this one, which checks for alarms. And yeah, and all we did was use lists. I mean, we were obviously going to have to use lists for... I mean, how are you going to make an alarm without lists? <coughs> it's not like we're going to put it to variables. Anyways... Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, and share as it helps the channel. Hey, down love case about a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much. Oh, 
I think that's our alarm for our 150 subscribers celebration. Thank you guys so much for 150 subscribers and all of that. Like, thank you, my viewers, for subscribing, and thank you just for watching my videos in general. You know, there's lots of other YouTubers you could watch, but you decide to choose me because you know I'm just better. And thank you guys so much for all the support. Thank you guys. I just cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate this. This allows me to make videos every single well, not every single day, but like often. Nice, fully press space. So thank you guys so much for that.